The health story this week has been how grapefruit can trigger some dangerous side effects with some of the medications you may be taking. But there's a long list of foods that can affect the way your medicines work. And Dr. Diane McAllister, the chief medical officer at Centura's Porter Adventist Hospital, has been looking into this. So, you know, we've heard about grapefruit for some time, but there are these other foods. Tell us about these. So there's two ways the food can affect um, your medications. One is since we take most pills orally, the foods that are in your stomach at the same time can um, decrease the absorption of the foods. The second is some foods contain vitamins or um, amino acids that actually float around your body and can interfere with the uh, drug's metabolism. Yeah, a lot of people are taking all kinds of herbs and things, so what kind of vitamins might we be cognizant of if we're taking prescription drugs? So I think it's very important if you're taking any supplements to have your pharmacist run what you're taking over the counter against your medications. One of the key ones is um, Coumadin is a medication that's used to thin the blood in people who tend to develop blood clots. The way it works is that vitamin K is, um, it affects, the, it stops vitamin K from acting correctly. So if you eat a lot of foods with vitamin K or take vitamin K orally while you're on Coumadin, you decrease the effectiveness of the drug and you increase your chance of getting a clot. So let's talk about some of these common foods that can throw up these barriers or complications for medicine. Um, well, one... Um, it's, can we list them? Tell well, people what they are? It's actually more drug specific. So okay. let's give examples. All one right. is tetracycline is an antibiotic, but milk interferes with the absorption of it. So you should not take those two at the same time. Another is digoxin is a heart medication can't take it with oatmeal because again it interferes with the absorption of it and then the drugs a lot of women take for osteoporosis called bisphosphonates you cannot have anything in your stomach or the drugs are not absorbed ap appropriately yeah and so wow. this came and made news because of grapefruit grapefruit milk all these things nothing in and of themselves that's bad it's just the interaction with the medications why the problem with grapefruit so grapefruit you know we like to drink it for um, grapefruit juice for breakfast but it actually can slow down the metabolism of some drugs and what that does is you give a dose of drug based on a normal metabolism if you slow down the metabolism you increase the level of the drug sometimes to dangerous proportions and one of the common drugs that they listed is Allegro which many people take for their allergies and so you just have to be very careful and it seems that this list gets longer yeah as, I don't know, we're inventing new drugs or more people are taking them? I think it's a combination. You know, the, I was reading about the grapefruit and the way they found that was actually an accident. Um, when they originally discovered the interaction with grapefruit, they were using it to cover the taste of another drug um, in a double blind study and then they found the, the problem with the grapefruit. So as we learn more and as we do more uh, experiments, we get more information and find out what doesn't work together. And because, as Bertha said, the list is getting longer, how do we know which ones to avoid with which drugs? Would it always tell us on the label? Well, it should. There's a couple things. First, your doctor, you should ask them and they should tell you what kind of interactions happen with your drug. The second is the pharmacy is very good about putting little labels on that say, take on an empty stomach or do not eat yeah, leafy vegetables while you're taking this. You should really pay attention to those because it's very, very important. And then you get a lot of packets of information. Um, read them. Yeah. <laughs> They're not just there to throw away. You should actually read them and because these drug food interactions and drug drug interactions are important. And finally, you can go on the web, and there's several websites that you can put in what you're taking and what you like to eat and see if they affect yeah, see, each other. See if they collide. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dr. Diane, thank you. We you're have uh, several websites where you can check if interactions uh, you have any with uh, medications. The DenverChannel.com has the links for you. Just go to the Lifestyle tab and scroll over to Staying Healthy.